Introducción al tiempo pasado en español. Introduction to past tense in Spanish. Spanish past tense has the same meaning in English. This tense is used when we talk about actions that were completed in past time. To form the preterite, we need to pay attention to different endings that are added to the stem of the regular verbs, but we also need to keep in mind a set of very useful rules for irregular verbs in past tense. In this past tense or preterite course in Spanish, we have classified verbs into different groups. This is a very easy way to remember and to learn the past tense in Spanish. Let's begin with the verbs in Spanish and we're going to classify them into regular verbs. These verbs have the same regular conjugation. We have some rules that we can follow and they are going to be uh, conjugated the same way. So these verbs are very easy to learn because they have the same rules. And they end in ar, er, or ir. And the second group is going to be the irregular verbs. So those verbs with a very special conjugation in past tense. Let's begin with the first group, regular verbs. In order to form the preterite in Spanish, with regular verbs, we just need to add the following endings to the stem of the regular verbs. And we're going to start with the first group, verbs ending in AR. And we're going to use hablar, to talk or to speak. So as you pay attention, we have in red color, all different personal pronouns are going to have the same stem. In this case, it's going to be H A B L. And then we're going to add a different ending. So in past tense, hablar would be like this Yo hablé, tú hablaste, él, ella, usted habló, nosotros, nosotras hablamos, vosotros, vosotras hablasteis. Ellos, ellas, ustedes hablaron. Okay. The second group of these regular verbs ends in ER or ER. The example we have is comer. So in preterite or in past tense, we are going to conjugate this verb like this. Yo comí. Tú comiste. Él, ella, usted comió. Nosotros, nosotras comimos. Vosotros, vosotras comisteis. Ellos, ellas, ustedes comieron. Okay, now let's go to the third group, the verbs ending in ir. An example is subir, to go up or to climb. In past tense or predatory, this verb would be yo subí. Tú subiste, él, ella, usted subió, nosotros, nosotras subimos, vosotros, vosotras subisteis, ellos, ellas, ustedes subieron. Now we are going to talk about the second group, the irregular verbs. This group we are going to divide it into six different categories. Let's begin with the first group. Stem changing verbs, like a repetir. We are going to change the letter E to I. In preterite, this verb would be like this. Yo repetí, tú repetiste, él, ella, usted repitió, nosotros, nosotras repetimos. Vosotros, vosotras repetisteis. Ellos, ellas, ustedes repitieron. Okay, now we are going to pay special attention to 
de third person of singular, él, ella, usted repitió. The letter E changed into I, repitió. And the plural form for uh, ellos, ellas, and ustedes, repitieron. So we're going to have the same change of the letter E, the vowel E, into I. Group number five, the stem changing verbs. So these verbs are going to change the letter O into U. In preterite, that would be yo dormí, tú dormiste, él, ella, usted durmió, nosotros, nosotras dormimos, vosotros, vosotras dormisteis, ellos, ellas, ustedes durmieron. Okay, again, we're going to pay attention to the first, to the third person of singular, él, ella, usted durmió. We can see that we change the letter O into a U, and the third person of plural, ellos, ellas, and ustedes, durmieron. We have the same change, the O into a U. Group number six, extend changing verbs. And here we're going to change the letter C into QU. The example we have is buscar to look for. In past tense, we are going to say yo busqué, tú buscaste, él, ella, usted buscó, nosotros, nosotras buscamos, vosotros, vosotras buscasteis, ellos, ellas, ustedes buscaron. Okay, we're going to pay attention only to the first person of singular, yo, yo busqué. This is the only irregular conjugation of the verb. The rest of the other personal pronouns are going to be conjugated in a regular way. We keep talking about the second group, more irregular verbs. Group number seven. Stem changing verbs, and we have llegar to arrive. We're going to change the letter G into G U E. Llegar in preterite or past tense would be yo llegué, tú llegaste, él, ella, usted llegó, nosotros, nosotras llegamos, vosotros, vosotras llegasteis. Ellos, ellas, ustedes llegaron. Now pay attention to the first person of the uh, singular. Yo llegué. We're going to have a change here. The letter G is going to change into G, U, E. And don't forget the graphic accent of tilde. Yo llegué. The rest of the verb or the rest of the personal pronouns are going to be conjugated as regular verb. Number eight, stem changing verbs, rezar, to pray. We're going to change the letter Z into a C. In past tense, we are going to say, yo recé, tú rezaste, él, ella, usted rezó, nosotros, nosotras rezamos, vosotros, vosotras rezasteis, ellos, ellas, ustedes rezaron. Again, the first person of singular, yo, yo recé. We're going to change the letter Z into letter C. The rest of the personal pronoun of the rest of the verb is going to be conjugated as a regular verb. Group number nine, we have a special conjugation. And we are going to be using creer, to believe. Pay attention to the change of the letter E into a Y. In past tense, this verb would be yo creí, tú creíste, él, ella, usted creyó, nosotros, nosotras creímos, vosotros, vosotras creísteis, ellos, ellas, ustedes creyeron. Okay, let's talk about the third person of singular, él, ella, usted creyó. Here we have a letter Y. This is a special change, creyó. And the same is going to happen with the third person of plural. 
ellos, ellas, ustedes creyeron. We, we can see or we can say that we change the letter E into a Y. So we say one more time, él, ella, usted creyó. Ellos, ellas, ustedes creyeron. Bueno amigos, considero que esta es una buena introducción al tiempo pasado en español. Well, I think this is a very good introduction to talk about the past tense in Spanish.